And let's go back here and what do you want to do now? We want to set some variables. So V to variable, set variable. So let's set wave unit types zero to be um, unit zerg. Let's make it the small beast, I believe was the first one I had. And let's set number one to be, I believe it was beast. By one, it's actually two, but you start counting from zero. Um, and then wave three was the uh, speed beasts, which should be here too. Oops, speed beast, there we go. And then the last wave is the giant beast. Where is the giant beast? Giant beast is right there. Okay. Next thing we set is um, spawn amounts, wave spawn amount. So wave spawn amount zero. So um, there's going to be 20 guys on the first wave. Um, let's make 30 on the second. And on the speed wave, let's make uh, 25 because they're a bit harder. And these numbers, you of course, you balance them later once you go in game and you play with a lot of people in Battle.net when it's released, when the publishing is released eventually. And then three for this wave because it's the boss wave. And next, let's set the bounty amount for each wave. Oops. So let's set wave bounty amount uh, zero. I should probably copy that. Uh, so let's just make it one. So you only get one per kill on the first wave. And same for the second wave. And same for the third wave. However, the last wave, the fourth wave, will be um, 15. Because there's only three guys spawning instead of 25. And they're also boss units, so they should give more. And then let's set um, the builder spawn points zero to be player one build, which I created in the first part of the tutorial. And then this one to be player two builder spawn. Good. And now let's start our timer. So copy paste again and go down to timer. And what we're going to do is to start uh, our variable wave timer as a one-shot timer that will expire in 15 game time seconds. This is up to you to pick whatever number you want, but I'm choosing 15. And then let's um, let's see. I don't know if you have to do this, but I do it anyway to be safe. Um, let's set um, wave timer to equal last started timer um, since we did declare wave timer right here but I'm just doing this to be safe and um, after this we want to do uh, create a timer window create a timer window for last started timer with the title um, let's see wave one in Okay, using remaining time initially visible, and then we need to copy paste and do a timer show timer. We need to show, okay, that is good. And now let's copy paste, and now we're going to do a leaderboard. Not fun, but it has to be done. Uh, let's see, scroll down my notes. Okay, so we need two columns. And then we want number of rows to be player group, number of players in player group, um, number of players in allies of player one. Um, actually, we want to do this, sorry about that, we want to do an arithmetic, and then pick number of players in player allies of player one plus one with the text. Uh, what do we want the text to be? Lives 20. Okay, and that's just because our lives are set to 20 here, so you'd have to change that if you change the amount of lives. Um, and then that color is fine. And then for this leaderboard, we want to go variable, set variable, set uh, killboard to equal. Last created leaderboard, good. I'm just going to copy paste this one, and then leaderboard. So now let's set... Um, Set the item text. Set killboard just to be safe. Let's do killboard, not last last start one. 
at column one and row header to the text player and then this to be column two to be kills okay and save and then copy paste and sorry this is quite time consuming but I uh, hope everyone can last through this add player one to killboard and then we want to add player two to killboard and then we want to set item text for killboard at column one column two and row one to zero and uh, that's good enough and then this one column two and row two to zero okay and then we want to of course show the leaderboard uh, if I can find it there we go we want to show the leaderboard all leaderboards for all players because um, we only have one leaderboard so it doesn't matter and now let's do our race choosing dialogue so this will be interesting for people to know how to do this so let's create a dialogue create a modal meaning you have to click it um, to continue on and then of size 400 this is up this is you can go through these values and change it if you want I'm just I found these numbers to be fine um, and then we want to variable set a variable we want to set our race choose dialog to equal the last created dialog and this is why the order matters um, this happens and then this happens so it'll pick the last created dialog so just so people know that um, and then now we want to do dialog create a button for the race choose dialog which was just set and dimensions I've tested this earlier so I just know these numbers are good offset 50 100 from the top left with tooltip I'm not going to do any tooltip but this one will be you could do a tooltip like this is a efficient team or something like that but I'm just going to leave it at star builder and then we copy paste this and set uh, race choose dialog button 0 to equal last created dialog item this button we just created was an item and copy paste these both of these and now let's change this one to be um, offset by 200 in the y direction and instead this will be um, oops I should actually rename this sorry about that I'm not really thinking right now choose star team that's better star builder wouldn't really make much sense to people and choose flesh team okay that's good and uh, let's see we want to set this to one so now the second item in there um, should be set good and the last thing we want to do of course is show this dialog show um, variable there we go for all players that's good so now um, why don't we do our choose team uh, trigger corresponding to our dialogue we just made choose team so new event okay dialogue dialogue item is used any dialogue item is clicked by any player good and then to new action general if okay and I'm gonna press control W which is just new element so if I click on the condition and uh, the if spot and then press control W it'll bring up a condition and press OK click on this bracket um, go to dialog and find use dialog item equals equals and this is we want to choose zero so if zero which is our build star uh, choose star team so if they choose the star team we want to do or I can just do control W actually um, we want to create a star builder for them so create unit facing angle create one um, oh, I believe this should be under Protoss star builder 